So as usual, today's Red Show is going to be about creativity and art. And if you have a problem with that, you can just... Can you not have a problem with that, please? <laughs> So here's my advice today. Make exactly what you want to make. Take the ideas that make you the most excited and do them 110%. Don't listen to the nagging negative inner voices in your head that say things like, People won't like this. It's done. You're done. Your high school girlfriend never liked you. She just couldn't find anyone else. Mm. Uh, sorry. I mean, you can tell that she wishes she were with Timmy Stevenson. I think you can, I think she's looking. He might have been over there. You should do art that's uninhibited and completely you. But not like self-portraits. Unless that's your thing. In which case, you're a narcissist. Besides, nobody can make a better self-portrait than me. Clearly. For much of my life, I worked on creative projects that were filtered through the lens of things that I thought people wanted to see. But that lens was smudged and distorted and it had an annoying corporate watermark. So while there was always a flavor of me in it, which is a cherry limeade flavor, by the way, I restricted a lot of my creative energy because I thought people would think it was too weird. But lately, I've been working on projects that are exactly the thing I want to make. And as you might guess, it has occurred to me that that is the way to go. You can actually hear my music get more uninhibited from album to album. Trying to balance mainstream accessibility with your own creative vision is going to make you fail at both. To demonstrate this metaphor, I'm going to try to balance this boring, realistic turtle with my own magical turtle that I made myself. Oh, actually, that worked out pretty well. I feel like that sort of art that's being pulled between two different worlds becomes pretty transparent, and you can see right through it. This is why Nickelback gets a lot of criticism, I think. I recently read an article about this, about why people hate Nickelback, and it's because they so obviously make music that they think people want to hear. Now, if you like that sort of thing, no problem. Nothing wrong with liking Nickelback. <laughs> But there's another side of this that I think should keep artists from playing it safe, and that's their happiness with their own product. I don't feel satisfied with the finished project until I know it's exactly what I wanted to make. I actually started painting again recently, and for the longest time I figured I had to prove myself as a realistic painter before I could actually paint the things I wanted to do, which is sort of psychedelic abstract stuff. But last month I decided, screw that, I'm gonna paint exactly what I want. And this is what I'm working on right now. It's nowhere near done. It might look too vibrant, too amateurish, too many things mashed together, too aimless, but damn it, I'm pretty happy with it. And before that, I was just painting mugs. Mugs. I've also been following the same rule with fiction writing lately, but that's not nearly as interesting to share in a video. Let me do a dramatic reading for you. Just kidding, how boring would that be? If you try to make art based on what you think people want, your heart won't be in it. And your heart should always be in it. Literally. Nurse scalpel. Just kidding, but your art should have blood, sweat, and tears. I keep all three of those preserved in jars. Plus a mystery liquid. But for real, if you don't make art the way you want, then it might not turn out good. It might not turn out the way other people want because it's not the best version of what you think it could be. You're holding yourself back, man. If you try to strike a balance, you might fall short on either end or both. But if you make exactly what you want, no matter how weird, even if people hate it, at least you'll be perfectly happy with it because it's exactly what you wanted. Even if you never get recognized, I think you'll live a fulfilling life cranking out art that you're madly proud of. And hopefully somebody will come along someday and notice the authenticity of your work. Now, if making art exactly the way you want coincides with exactly what the public wants, then great. Lucky you. I feel like singing songwriters who want nothing more than to play an acoustic guitar and sing about relationships have this going for them. Good for you guys. That's it for this video. Check out a previous Red Show here or watch the Half-Assed Art Challenge right here. Be sure to click that little bell and turn on notifications if you like being pestered. And remember, if you make things the way you want to make things, you're making the way things you make should be. Thanks.